Hi there everybody, it's UK Independent Demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I'm making this really cute little thank you card which feature these little green lambs. And I don't know what made me decide that lambs were green, because I know they're not. But I thought they looked like broccoli and I thought that made them quite fun, so I kept them like this. <laughs> it's using the Hippo Happiness Photopolymer stamp set such a cute stamp set especially for like kid cards as well so what happens is you get a base image and you stamp that down and then you stamp the top image on top and you can add some little faces and bits and pieces so for today's card I'm using the lamb the butterfly the flower and then the faces for each animal and next to each animal so you need these three stamps for the butterfly because that's a little butterfly's face and these three la stamps for the lamb because that's a little lamb's face and that's the one that goes with the hippo and this one here goes with the horse or unicorn okay so i've got those six stamps out today and i've already popped them onto my blocks i've also picked up the flower and i picked up thank you so much because i just i really think that's a really cute um saying in fact i i've got that on my blog but actually i'm going to change it i've already done thank you so much i'm going to have you are special I, i'm one of these that really likes little corny sort of cutesy sayings so this is definitely when i saw this stamp set it was one of the ones i needed straight away because it was cute and it had cute sayings so to get started, I have my base piece of cardstock, because this is just a normal piece of cardstock. It's Whisper White A4 that's cut in half and scored in half to create my base. I then have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is, or was, it looks like I've actually chopped a bit off the edge, so I'm actually going to, just going to straighten that up, because looks like I've made a little bit of a mistake with the uh, the old chopper there we go so it was nine centimeters by 13.85 centimeters and I've got a piece of granny apple green cardstock that is just hopefully you can see that it's just around the edge tiny tiny little bit so this is 14 centimeters by just over um nine centimeters it was about 9.25 centimeters and it just gave that slight gap around the edge and you know what? that still doesn't look straight i have just chopped it straight i'm sure i did going mad my eyesight must be going about the same bits come off but do you know what i did this on a live the other day um, I made a plant pot and the one side of the plant pot looks slanted and the other side didn't. I wonder if it's the green card and funnily enough it was the exact same side. So this is what I actually did. I didn't measure measure the green, the granny apple green card. I placed it under the white, lined it up on my trimmer and just did the slightest of slightest cuts knowing that it would have a gap. Oh look at that. It was the green card that was wonky. <laughs> there we are. We've took two minutes out of my video to check the prep I had done beforehand was wrong. And the reason why this has got holes out of is because I did some colour swatches for my team recently. And I don't see the point in wasting that card because no one's going to see it because it's going to be on there. So I have kept it. So anyway, that's my card mats. I then have a piece of scrap whisper wipe for me to stamp all of these fun bits and pieces out. There are coordinating dies, so you don't have to worry about fussy cutting or anything. So I'm gonna be using Granny Apple Green. Okay, I'm also going to be using So Saffron. I'm also gonna be using Rococo Rose. And finally, I do have my Tuxedo Black Memento so that I can add in the little faces and do the sentiment. Okay. So I'm going to, first of all, do the sentiment so I know how much space I've got on my scrap of Whisper White. 
you are special. And I've got my postage stamp punch, which is a punch that I am loving at the moment. I really am. I think it's so cute. And I'm just going to punch that out. This is some Scrap Whisper White. You can tell I've, I've stamped on it. Actually, this set. Oh, that's a balloon. <laughs> right. Pop my lid on that for a second. Why I show you how to make my butterfly and my broccoli. Sorry, lamb. <laughs> Just it had to be green. As soon as I saw it, I thought, yes, it's going to be a green sheep. So what you need to do with this if you've got some scrap copy paper or anything that's great this is some scrap copy paper that i've just got on my desk you're going to want to stamp this is the flat stamp this is the entire sheep so you actually have the two stamps you have the flat one and then you have this one here with the detail so you want to start off with the flat one okay you want to ink him up you can see through the stamp to make sure there's no air bubbles or bits and pieces you want to stamp him off lightly I'm going to do that again because you can see I've, I've missed a whole bit of stamping him off. I was too low. So you want to stamp him off. OK, still managed to do that. <laughs> and then you want to stamp him onto your Whisper White cardstock. Like that. OK. And yeah, he does look like he's got a little bit of a brain thing going on because I obviously didn't stamp him off lightly enough there. But it doesn't matter because that's going to be the bit that gets covered. Because then I'm going to come in with the top bit and I'm not stamping that off at all. Okay, I'm checking that it's all okay. And I'm going to line that up onto my stamp. Hopefully that's lined up correctly. You'll have a better view than me because you're over the top of the uh, image. There we go, pretty much. And there's my little bit of broccoli. <laughs> no, I know, I've re been really cruel doing him green I know but it, I just think it's funny <laughs> and it's a little face and there's my little woolly sheep it looks darker here than it is here but as soon as the ink starts to dry it will blend more to the same color okay for the butterfly I'm using so saffron I'm doing the exact same thing You've got the two stamps, and I am using this one here that is the full stamp. Okay, and I'm gonna ink that up, stamp it off lightly, and then stamp it onto my paper. Okay, I'm taking the so saffron again with the frame, and instead of stamping it off, I'm just gonna go straight over the top of it and I'm gonna stamp this in the middle. And I'm trying to get my head in a good position to see where that's going, and I don't think that's quite right. Hoping, oh, it is! There we go. There's my butterfly. And just here, teensy tiny, I have my little butterfly face. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? I think he's adorable. Okay, and last but not least, I have my flower. Okay, so you're going to want to do three flowers, three sheep and two butterflies. And then you've got your dies because this is a bundle set. You'll end up with all your little die cuts out like this. Okay, I've already done it. I didn't want you to sit there while I was off die cutting because I can't fit my die cut machine on my table. So there we go. And for some delightfully re weird reason, I have got two flowers and not three, which means one of them is on the floor somewhere. So let's just very quickly um, fussy cut this one out. Won't look as perfect as the other ones but it's going behind the sheep and I think we're noticing that I was not prepared properly for this video so I think I need a little bit of a mental telling off here I didn't get the, the layers cut properly and my flower short oh wow 
now almost there we are three flowers three lambs two butterflies and there's my sentiment and then it's just sticking everything together so I'm just gonna pop all the lids on my stamp sets because otherwise I get them on me and we go all over the place and get into a right mess okay I have my liquid glue and I also have some dimensionals for popping all of these up I'm going to run my liquid glue around the edge of my cardstock. Pop it onto the granny apple green matting behind. And then I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals and pop it onto my card base. Because I've put it onto a matting, I just use five dimensionals. But if I was just using a thin whisper white and popping that up, I'd stick a load more on because obviously it's a little bit softer than having the card base. So all right. Sentiment next. So what I'm going to do with the sentiment is I'm going to pop a dimensional in the middle and stick it onto my card. Okay, it's lots of floppy at the side, so we're going to sort that out. And the reason why I've done that is because I want to put a butterfly underneath on the one side. So I'm actually going to create, take both bases off, so that's sticky on both sides. Just pull that up. And put the dimensional so it's half underneath the sentiment. I dropped the sentiment on top of that dimensional, but yeah, half on top of the sentiment and half behind. And then you can just pop your butterfly on top like that. I'm going to do exactly the same over this corner because I've popped the sheep there. So I'm going to lift it up, put it half underneath and half not. And I'm going to grab another one put that underneath and that half knot because I've also got the flower next to the, sh the little lamb. So the lamb has a flower in her hair. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the flower on first, then pop the lamb on. And that's all stuck. And now my sentiment is well stuck to that card. The rest of it, for the sheep, I'm going to put the dimensional right down the very bottom of his body. Okay, exact same reason. I want to pop the little lamb on the card. Get another dimensional, take the back off. A bit off my nail. <laughs> and just pop him underneath his ear like that. Pop the flower on top. the sheep down and there's a little flower in her hair okay same up here and the reason I'm doing it like this you could apply the um, dimensional to the back of the sheep and have it hanging over but I like to actually see when it's on my card exactly how much of the dimensional is hanging out because I want to get the flower in just the right place so it's just sitting off because I'm going to pop dimensionals into that little not dimensionals, rhinestones into that little flower gap so that's why I'm doing that my butterfly is really simple dimensional on the back done there we go okay I'm just going to move all these dimensional backs off here because I get into messes all over my floor <laughs> Okay, some rhinestones now. And I think, yes, I'm gonna to have to start a new pack of rhinestones 
because the rhinestones come in different sizes so you get this this is a full pack and it's got 140 of them on and these ones down here are large rhinestones which i don't use very often hence the fact they're left i have middle sized rhinestones and then you have the teeny tiny ones which are the ones i love um, at the top and i want teeny tiny ones for this project okay and um, grab my take a pick tool change the head I'm just gonna nab the little rhinestones and pop them on the flower that's in her hair like that and that's my card what do you think i love it i think this lamb is so adorable um i know i've called it broccoli all the way through but i think that's actually the name i'm going to give the lamb <laughs> but i think it's really really sweet especially if you're doing cards for little ones and it's the hippo happiness photopolymer stamp set it's in the 2020 um, annual catalogue and you can purchase it from my site slimandstylish.com by going up to the header and clicking buy it will take you to my store and if you look for the the matching dies so you get the hippie, hippo happiness bundle rather than the two individual sets you get 10 percent off okay thanks for joining me today and i will see you again soon if you have enjoyed the project do give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you on my next video bye everyone